DMTM the show presents Nerdy Strikes Back. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, Slay J, Monkey D Ambassador here. Honestly, at this point, I mean, if I was if I was Marvel, I'd be like, there is a lot of stuff surrounding this. Replace him with the guy that played Finn. Yeah. I think he, he has the acting chops. He could pull it off, you know, or not. Or wait until it the fallout comes, you know. But if you get ahead of it, you know, then you can still have him in your movies. With the strike and everything, as we've said, like, things are going to be held off for a long time. And honestly, I don't care. I'm for I'm for the people that are on strike. Screw these billionaires, especially like Bob Iger, who's the one of Disney's. Like, oh, they're being unreasonable. Oh yeah, unreasonable. Like, how much money you make? Well, we we know or unreasonable by like claiming the reason why your company is almost a billion dollars in the hole because you put out too much content instead of the truth, which is your writers suck ass and need <laughs> to improve. Well, we know we just know how money hungry people or corporations are, I should say, and we know once AI launches even more than it has, that it will replace they the companies will just start using AI. They'll buy the dot AI software and or whatever um, and basically replace these people and and the writers know this. We already have evidence. Yeah, totally. Watch Rogue One. That's all the evidence you need. Yeah, Rogue One, because, um, what's his face? Uh, oh, Pete. Peter Tr- Capaldi. No, not no. Peter Capaldi. Moff Tarkin. Moff Tarkin. The guy's dad. Yeah. He, he was not alive for any of the filming. Yet, yeah, there he is, live and chipper in the movie. I mean, that's CGI, thi- but it still kind of shows you what they're willing to do. Well, we know that at some point AI is going to start doing CGI programming. <laughs> well, the programming, thing is, I don't so. even think that it's that the writers... I mean, sure, the quality of writers do vary, right? The guy that wrote the Quantumania movie, the quality of that movie is not as good as the other movies. And that comic book writer, he's not the best comic book writer, right? Like, that's the thing is, I've seen him on other stuff, Jeff Loveness, and I go like, the stuff he's done is mediocre at best. You well, know. that and your whole movie shouldn't rely on one character being stupid. Uh, Janet not just keeping her mouth shut. It doesn't really... Well, I mean, there's a lot of flaws with that movie, but... But that's the big one that sticks out, and if you're going in there and it's something so obvious, then then it feels like you're getting insulted watching that. I they s- expect you to just go with it. So I also feel like it's things are being rushed, right? Like, Marvel's rushing to put stuff out, and that's part of it, too. I mean, Disney's rushing. Like, let's rush, 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 push Mm -hmm. stuff out, put stuff out, put stuff out. And that's the problem. Like, with writing, it takes time. Yeah. And that's things... And that's why it's good to have a writing team, not just, like, one main writer and stuff. The best things we've seen are, like, team... Like, a writer-directors, James Gunn. And I think writer-director... The Russo brothers, I think, are writer-directors, too. And so... And it's like, those are two guys, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we've seen Stranger Things. Like, that's phenomenal. We have a Stranger Things shirt, and it's awesome. It's rushed, and that's what it is. Give it more time. Don't rush this stuff. Even, like, same thing with the CGI. That's all rushed. I've heard with a lot of that stuff, they go, they moved, they'll move CGI artists from Quantumania to something to Star Wars before they're even done. And they're like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. This thing's going in. Well, it's gonna lack. It's it's you're gonna see it, and people saw it. If you think you're gonna cut corners and it's gonna work, it's not working. I'm just waiting right. for Gun to show up to destroy Marvel, so that Marvel has to step their game up. Yeah. Because right now they're taking it easy because they can take it easy you're because right. their competition is Shazam too. You know, <laughs> well so... that's what they think, but they're starting to pay the price. Like it's just they need to step up their game if they want to well, I, just, I just if you if we kind of go back to guardians of the galaxy 3 that should tell us something because remember remember when they were right he like wrote the script and then they were gonna not then they were gonna get rid of him as the director right i can't uh-huh. remember the whole situation but it's it's good that the, I, I don't know who fought for him or it was the fans or whatnot the cast i think it was, it was everything cat. yeah i think honestly i think everybody because they found like some old tweets where he made some really off color jokes about like well, I, I'm tired of people going child. to old tweets yeah it was like 8 years 10 years old I understand the whole woke movement but uh, come on we just people need to people grow people change people do change 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying everyone does exactly. My point is with the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is that whole trilogy of that thing, in my opinion, is the best thing they've, they've put out. It's the best Could, trilogy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, be, because of, you know, Iron Man 3, that, that was just dog shit. But, you know, <laughs> like all, you know. Well, like, even <laughs> Iron Man 2, like, could have been so much better. But Disney being Disney is like, well, we can't have you do Demon in a Bottle. That's uh, too inappropriate for kids, even though we'd actually be teaching them something worthwhile. Like, yeah. about how bad addiction is and how it can control your life, but no. Right. Like, they did a light version of that. The best part of that movie they cut out, which is, like, he's throwing up in... The, like, I think it was the beginning of the movie, too. Yeah. Like, he's throwing up in the restroom, puking his guts up, Pepper Potts is mad at him because of that and throws his helmet, and that's why she does that. Mm -hmm. Instead, it just makes it look, makes her look like she's a bee. And then they show it, you know, throughout the rest of the, you know, at the party and stuff, and you're like, uh, dude's, like, peeing his suit, and they make a joke at it, but it is kind of sad, you know, and pathetic, mm -hmm. but... Like, so they did it, but they did it light, right? Like, so yeah. they could have done better. Three was just, to me, awful. I, I, I actually liked two a lot. I thought it was no, like, two was if good. you watch yeah. two right after one, because one is kind of slow, if you watch it right after, you're like, oh, this flow's so good. Well, that, that kind of reminds me of Captain America, you know? It's like um, the rewatchability of Captain America, the first one. Going from the first one to the second one, you're like, okay, the second one's great go back to it and you're like my gosh the, the first one was so much better than i thought you know um even that jump to third you're like i feel like i'm a little lost if i just yeah. followed the captain america movies and this just feels yeah. like an avengers light movie yeah exactly it was it like the one, like a captain america the one shot the, it's like a one shot right? yeah like off it was of the, the story. here's how we're ramming spider-man into the mcu i'm really <laughs> upset they didn't put goliath in in that movie because to have like a goliath versus ant-man because yeah. they had that competition even in the ant-man movie where he's like oh how big did you get oh this is how bad guy <laughs> and so to see them face off and be like oh we got him on our side he's just doing it for him you know to push the science and stuff because in the comics like he gets killed by a robotic thor made by steve uh by reed richards you could have added more even if it's just like real quick short stuff and and that's the thing is same thing quantum mania like just some slight alterations like in the writing to make the character arc better because there wasn't really much of one would have made it a lot better where like there was a legitimately struggle of like him choosing his new family over his daughter or like redoing it with his daughter like that should have that should have been the focus and i could tell that in the commercials that they were trying to go that way but they didn't have enough footage because it wasn't there and my wife she was like i don't care about these people in the quantum mania like why it doesn't matter to me they should have made like the stakes go like if things get messed up here it there will be ripple effects and mm -hmm. things will be messed up and then you should have seen like things too like like maybe some glitches sort of you know what i mean like once you returned or even before you're like oh hey there's something going on like showing yeah. up in the real world we need let's we have to investigate it. And it was just slight stuff. You wouldn't even have to like do too much.